What is up guys, it's Tommy here and we are back with a brand new Liverpool transfer news update video and today's big news is that Nabi Keita is unusually already back in Leipzig uh, more than a week before he was required to report for training. So what could this mean? The build says that uh, the 70 million pound offer that is highly rumored that Liverpool could make for, for Nabi Keita could tempt uh, Leipzig into a sale. According to Bild, uh, you know, a German newspaper, um, the player Nabi Keita has reported for training more than a week before he was supposed to report. So I guess he wants to sit down with Leipzig CEO and uh, Leipzig, uh, you know, manager and he wants to hopefully tell them that he wants to leave and uh, he wants to sign for Liverpool because uh, apparently there has been uh, already a contract offer by Liverpool to Nabi Keita. Behind the scenes, of course, Liverpool's representatives, Jurgen Klopp's representatives. By the way, Jurgen Klopp is back uh, this week in Liverpool, so hopefully that will accelerate the transfer. So the Liverpool representatives have been talking to Nabi Keita's representatives. This is how all transfers are done. And the player was afforded, was offered a 130 thousand pound per week contract which about puts him into the top like five earners in Liverpool I think uh, Coutinho is on a big way bigger wages than him I'm not sure who else is uh, on what wages at Liverpool but he certainly could be maybe in the top three earners in Liverpool and I think his talent uh, and his potential requires us to bigger pay a big contract of course this contract could be twice as much or even more than twice as much what he's getting at RB Leipzig because remember Leipzig just a season ago was in the second division in the Bundesliga 2 so Nabi Keita can't be on on huge contract uh, at Leipzig and Jurgen Klopp has told Liverpool and Liverpool's representatives to step up the pursuit of Nabi Keita. Uh, Jurgen Klopp doesn't want to wait another year for Nabi Keita's 48 million pound release clause to kick in because then a whole host of other top clubs will be interested in Nabi Keita. And this is was my opinion as well that Liverpool shouldn't wait for another summer if a player of Nabi Keita's caliber who is uh, similar to N'Golo Kante but with more goals and more assists. That's how uh, very simplistically I can describe the player. Nabi Keita has been a really, really electric player. And uh, why other top clubs are not really bidding for him? Um, you may ask, the reason for that is, you know, most of other top clubs don't really desperately need a player like him, but Liverpool do. He would absolutely transform the midfield of Liverpool, in my opinion. And, you know, other top clubs uh, will think twice um, about paying 70 million pounds for a player who doesn't improve them that much, but with Liverpool it's a different because it Liverpool, in Liverpool, Nabi Keita completely, as I said, transforms and improves Liverpool's midfield. So in my opinion, he's worth that kind of money. And you can argue all day about is he, is he really worth 70 million? In a normal market, uh, you know, he would be worth about 30 to 40 million pounds. But when when uh, when players like Lacazette go for 50 million, when players like Paul Pogba, who I don't think is a better player than Nabi Keita is going for 90 million or even more and that was last summer then I think you just have to pay the going rate in today's market the market is whatever it is you know every summer and some top clubs need to overpay of course for players but Jurgen Klopp has a very good strategy this summer instead of signing many you know players worth 20 25 30 million pounds to improve the squad he signs three or four huge players, I think he will sign three, to improve the, really, really improve the first team. And Nabi Keita, Virgil van Dijk, definitely, those two players definitely do that. And uh, also a very, very interesting uh, report came from um, a Guinea journalist, actually, who is saying that Nabi Keita wants to move to Liverpool which is of course very very exciting news and uh, 
Also, a former Liverpool and Guinea striker Titi Kamara says that Naby Keita wants a Liverpool move with Leipzig already looking at a replacement. Basically, Leipzig have been informed according to Titi Kamara and he tweeted it. Of course, he knows more than, uh, than we do because he is from the same country and I guess he knows some journalists. And also some Guinea journalists also reported that Naby Keita wants to join Liverpool. So there are a lot of sources and a lot of stalks coming in from different areas, from different people saying that Naby Keita wants to join Liverpool. The big question is, will Liverpool be able to negotiate a fee with RB Leipzig? And of course, that's the million dollar question. I think if Naby Keita really wants to go, I don't think Leipzig will refuse to sell at any price. I think every player has a price and especially a player who wants to move and why doesn't, why wouldn't Napi Keita want to move to Liverpool? Liverpool are a much much bigger club than Leipzig and yes Leipzig have a lot of money, yes they are in the Champions League but remember that Leipzig two years ago were in the second division in, the, in Germany, in the Bundesliga 2. So in my honest opinion, and this is just my opinion that I'm sharing with you, Liverpool will go further in the Champions League in next season and also in the next five years Liverpool will, I think, compete, more likely to compete for trophies and titles and that's ultimately what players want and also of course uh, very good contracts but Naby Keita will definitely do that, uh, get, get that at Liverpool and Titi Kamara said that if the deal is successful Naby Keita has requested the number 8 shirt known as a lucky number to his father of course that is the shirt of Steven Gerrard, my boyhood Liverpool hero but Liverpool shouldn't retire that number 8 shirt. I think he should, it, that should be reserved for only the best players, the best midfielders that Liverpool have. And right now nobody is having the number 8 shirt. So I think Naby Keita could be the, a player worthy of wearing the number 8 shirt. And I, I'm choosing my words carefully here because Steven Gerrard is the all-time best Liverpool player in my opinion. So to live up to that number 8 shirt will be a huge, huge task for Naby Keita. But looking at his stats and looking at his contribution, he's definitely a player who is similar to Steven Gerrard in his playing style. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder and he can defend, he can attack, he can score, he can assist, he can do everything that is required in the middle of the park to be an outstanding player and this is why I'm so so excited to get Naby Keita hopefully hopefully Liverpool and Leipzig can do a deal and even if it's 70 million I wouldn't mind Liverpool spending that amount of money because since Steven Gerrard retired Liverpool have been lacking a player who can score 15 to 20 goals from midfield and that is a huge huge uh, addition to Liverpool's already very very prolific front line. We have Mane, we have Firmino, we have Salah, we have Sturridge, we have Coutinho. All these players can get 10-15 goals every season but if you could add another player who could get about 10 to 15 goals then Liverpool seriously would be a very very serious contender for the Premier League title and I'm just I'm just getting goosebumps just thinking about what Liverpool could achieve with Naby Keita in the midfield in the next five years because he, he will only get better. He's only 22 years old and I will also analyze his stats a little bit la later. Jurgen Klopp actually said um, at the beginning of this transfer window this, the world is not full of players who will make us better immediately. But clearly there are a few out there and we will speak to them. And one of them I think is Naby Keita and many many sources are, are saying that he is our most you know, high profile number one target in the transfer market. And he actually had three tackles uh, per game per 90 minutes, uh, 3.1 interceptions, 3.1 completed take-ons, I mean 3.0 successful tackles and one and a half chances created per 90 minutes for a midfielder who is not really a number 10, who is not really an attacking midfielder, he's a center midfielder. Those are outstanding numbers and even, even a 70 million pound absolutely record shattering transfer would be worth it in my opinion because of what I said that 
every other top team is not wanting to spend this amount of money on Keita because that doesn't improve their team as much. But for Liverpool, it certainly does. I think he is worth it. And also, um, one of the very respectable journalists, Knotson, says that uh, Nabi Keita is, uh, you know, his skill set is extremely rare and elite skill sets, especially for all-rounders, tend to command huge transfer fees in football. Given his age, his uh, end product and fit for that particular style of play, I could easily see a team setting the Bundesliga transfer record right now, which is 66 mi million pounds which was paid in 2015 by Manchester City for Kevin De Bruyne and Liverpool could even pay more than that. And Keita, about Keita, he also said he, if he plays regularly that could certainly feel like good business a couple of years down the line. And this is what I'm saying that if Liverpool qualify with Keita in the team into the Champions League he already paid most of his transfer fee off by the Champions League revenue and if Liverpool go far in the Champions League then in the Champions League alone, we could earn in one season as much money as, much money as what Nabi Keita is worth, but or, or maybe a little bit less than that, but but uh, still very very close. And even at uh, you know even in the in the Bundesliga in the Austrian Bundesliga, when Nabi Keita was playing for Red Bull Salzburg, he had outstanding uh, statistics. He had a uh, 3.7. Uh, interceptions per game, he had uh, 4.5 successful tackles per game, he had um, a very very good um, you know successful dribble rate which was 2.1 successful dribbles per game per 90 minutes and also his expected uh, goal tally was very very high so that means that he created a lot of chances, he created goals and assists, uh, got assists for more for, uh, for his uh, other teammates so this is a very very exciting uh, player. I, the big question is, um, will Liverpool and Leipzig, as I already said, will they be able to negotiate a contract? Jurgen Klopp doesn't want to wait another year for Nabi Keita because then a whole host of big clubs could be in for him for 48 million. That would be a bargain. So I, I think that uh, that Liverpool really should spend the money, and that's what uh, Liverpool, former Liverpool player, Champions League winner. winner Dietmar Haman is saying today actually it's very fresh he said and he is German so he, he follows the Bundesliga very closely would 70 million pounds put me off buying Keita no he told uh, the Liverpool echo Didi Haman just getting through the playoff round and into the group stage would pay off a big chunk of that fee just as I said and um, you can question the fees being mentioned for the likes of Van Dijk and Keita but if you want the top players you have to pay what is required in today's transfer market. It's no good saying the market value is 30 million because you aren't going to get someone like that for, for 30 million pounds. And he's completely right. Today's transfer market is crazy. It's very, very inflated because of the TV deal and the insane money that every single Premier League club has that added another 20 million pounds probably or maybe even 30 million sometimes to players' values. But, you know, if he improves the team and if Liverpool will be successful and challenge and even win trophies with Keita, then it's a money worth spent in my opinion. The most important thing is the on-the-pitch success for Liverpool and that's what everybody wants to see. Liverpool competing at the top end of the Premier League, competing for tri tri trophies and titles. So let me know guys. Do you think Liverpool will be able to convince Leipzig to sell uh, Keita for 70 million or even for 60 million? We shall wait and see. And how, how successful can Liverpool be next season? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. See you later. Good night.